Hey everybody, it's Danielle Bennett, also known as DivaQ. I'm gonna show you what you can do with all those turkey leftover pieces from Thanksgiving and turn them into this delicious turkey pot pie. This is what your leftovers wish they could be. Okay, so this is what you need to make delicious, amazing turkey pot pie. And you probably have all this leftover from Thanksgiving. Butter, onions, celery, carrot, parsley, thyme, chicken rub, a little bit of flour, leftover peas or frozen peas, even better. Cream, lots of leftover turkey and some stock. That's it. You gotta do that. A little bit of grill time and maybe some puff pastry to top it all off and make it delicious. Let's go. Butter first, always. Let's get that sizzling. So you wanna get your butter all melted and bubbling hot, and then you wanna add in the onions and get them sweated down. Now, sweating is just a fancy term for, you're gonna get them soft. Now, once you have your onions softened up, go ahead and add in your celery and your carrots. You'll notice that we try to keep all of these ingredients, the carrots, the celery, and the onions about the same size. That means that they'll break down and get soft at about the same time. Our carrots, our onion, our celery, our butter, doing great. Now it's time to add some herbs in. So, you know, we're gonna use parsley and thyme at your house. Maybe you have a favorite, but these two work for me. Give that a stir. So once you get them all coated up with all those herbs, let's get them in with a little bit of chicken rub. Even though we're making turkey pot pie, this chicken rub really does work with it. Um, you can put in as little or as much as you want. I'm gonna say about, I don't know, anywhere from half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. All right, so we have all of our veg in there. It's sauteed up beautifully. It's softened. A Little bit of the liquid has come out of the veg now, which is good. And now we're gonna add a few other ingredients. So next thing up, flour. This is actually gonna help thicken up the whole stock that we're gonna add later. And you really, really wanna make sure your veg is really well coated with this. So when you put that flour in, make sure you take the time to actually coat all of the veg in there. Um, that way the sauce will be lovely and thick. Couple more ingredients. Gonna add in some heavy cream. Nobody said this was a diet dish and don't you dare use low fat anything, okay? Just FYI, okay? You can add the stock first, you can add the cream first. It doesn't really matter but chicken stock is essential. If you can find turkey stock or use that, you know, homemade, you know, stuff that you make yourself, go ahead. Personally, you can buy store-bought turkey stock or you can use chicken stock, either or. Get that poured in. Okay, so we have our veg in there. We have the flour, we have the cream, we have the stock. Give it a nice stir. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer and it's gonna start to thicken. So don't leave it, just stay, hang out. Maybe have a cocktail in one hand. I hope magically one would appear, but it has not. All right, so basically after you add the stock, after you add the cream, you wanna go back and stir it fairly regularly until it gets nice and thick. And let me show you how you know that it's actually thick enough. So take your spoon or your spatula, put it in the pan, okay, pull it out and you literally can just draw your finger through it. And when it splits like that, you know it's thick enough. Time to add all this delicious post Thanksgiving leftover smoked turkey, roasted turkey, whatever turkey you've got left over, it's time to add it in. Give that a stir. And you can of course use dark meat, white meat, whatever you've got left over. It's lovely, lush and delicious. I crave this dish. All right, last thing always is the peas. You can add in leftover peas for, you know, from your Thanksgiving meal or just crack open a bag of frozen ones and thaw them out. Once that's all done, it's time to take it off your induction cooktop and then bring it over to add your puff pastry. Okay, so once we've got the stock in there, we've got all our veg done, we've got you know all the ingredients, especially that beautiful leftover turkey. Last thing I like to do is this what I really do at home, okay? Needs a little salt and pepper. Literally, this is exactly what I do at home. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. So you don't wanna lick the spoon. So that's why you dribble it on your hand and lick your hand, which is 
it's still not great, but it works. All right, so as we have our turkey pot pie resting to the side, it's cooling off ever so slightly. Now it's time to top it with something delicious. It is all about puff pastry for me. So I have two sheets of puff pastry here. Um, they're laying out here on some parchment paper. Just makes it a lot easier to cut them. We're gonna cut about 10 strips in equal width. If you don't want to do what I'm gonna do, which is about to make a weave, you could just transfer this all over to your puff pastry, cut a vent in the top and be done with it. I like this version, it's a little more fancy. So, sheet number one, make a cut all the way down, just like that, okay? And you want these fairly cold, because if they're cold, they're gonna split apart nicer. Um, and then you just wanna kinda do a little score there, and a little score there, and basically this will give you six stripes. All right, so we've got one right there, not complicated at all, pretty simple, okay? And do it again on this side. Score it first, make sure they're about even. And if they're not even, who cares? It's your house. It's just supposed to be delicious. All right, so now we've got our first six strips. We're gonna move this over. We're gonna take these strips off and we're gonna repeat the process. Now that we've got all of our strips, we're gonna get our turkey pot pie over here onto our cutting board. So the first thing I like to do is take my strips and I fold them in half first. I'm gonna lay them at the top approximately about halfway down, just like that. And you may not need all of them because it really does depend on how thick your pan is and how wide it is. work these just a little bit and I love weaving things it doesn't matter if it's bacon or pastry I absolutely love it it makes me happy okay so once you have your six strips of puff pastry laying there go every second one and pull them down okay now once you've done that go grab one of those other strips lay it across and then go with your next strip so we're gonna actually build a beautiful weave, okay? Now on the alternate, lift those up. Lay down another strip. Put those down. Then we're gonna do the top side, so. Put that down just like that. Your two sheets of puff pastry all woven beautifully. And then the last thing you wanna do is just take your hand first, kinda of just press it down all around the edges, just like that. That's what I do. And then come in with a sharp knife, okay? And you can save these scraps to bake with cinnamon sugar so you don't waste them. And if it gets a little muddled, just tuck it under. It's just puff pastry. Then make all your edges pretty. Just go along with your fingers. Make sure it's all nice and neat. Just like that. Last thing, it's all about the egg wash. Crack an egg open. And I try to use um, not a lot of the white. So I throw up most of the white, just like that. Just a personal thing. So I keep about half the white. Get rid of that knife. Because I really want this beautiful and golden. So large or an extra large egg will work beautifully. Give that a really good whisk, just like that. And you wanna go in and you wanna be, you know, generous and brush all of your weaves across and get that golden goodness going. Here's the best part. If you have a whole bunch of leftover turkey, you can make all of these turkey pot pies up ahead of time and pop them in the freezer. I mean, seriously, can you imagine? You come home, you've got a turkey pot pie that's already done, you just have to heat it up on the grill. Done. I mean, it's perfect for the holiday season. So more turkey, more better, more pies. Literally, that's all. Now, if you wanna get fancy, okay? 
Say you got a fancy dinner party. Instead of doing a weave with the puff pastry, you could do all leaves. You could do stars. You could do lots of different shapes. Um, I've, I've played around with a lot of puff pastry over the years. I just think the weave looks fantastic. So you want your grill going at about 375 degrees. We want this to get nice and golden, puffy and crisp on the top anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes. And it really does depend on the temperature of the puff pastry when it goes to the grill. So after about 20 minutes, check it, and then every five to 10 minutes after that until it's golden and crisp. Remember, your entire pot pie, the rest of it, all that turkey goodness is already cooked. So let's go to the grill. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. <laughs> ah. All right, see you in a bit. Done. Okay, so it's time to go to the grill and get our delicious, gorgeous, amazing, you know, seriously, the best leftovers ever. Check that out. It's amazing. I mean, come on, when you can make leftovers look this good, taste this good, it's golden, it's gorgeous. Turkey pot pie, hot off the grill. This is what leftovers wish they could be, truly. I have been looking forward to this for quite a while. Um, there are days when it's really good to be me. This is one of them. Because <laughs> take a look at this lusciousness. Um, when it comes to turkey pot pie, you've got this delicious filling. You've got the crispy layers. Oh my gosh. Look, look, look at that goodness. There's something delicate about this. Just make it. You're not gonna regret this. And while you're at it, you could probably subscribe to our YouTube channel because this is delicious and there are a lot of other things that are really delicious that are real food for real people. Wood fired kissed, absolutely fantastic and absolutely amazing to make. So go sign up.